So there's new evidence tonight. A Florida congressman is affiliated with a group under fire for human trafficking and prostitution. Andy Alcock has our exclusive eyewitness news story. Andy. Angela, our exclusive investigation has found federal documents showing Congressman Gus Bilirakis used campaign money to pay membership dues and an event registration to a group called the Royal Order of Jesters. A campaign finance expert is on the fence about the legality of those payments. I like to address this. Gus Bilirakis represents Florida's 9th Congressional District in the Tampa area. According to federal documents filed by the Bilirakis campaign and exclusively obtained by Eyewitness News, in 2007, Bill Arrakis paid nearly $340 to a group called the Royal Order of Jesters Tampa Chapter for what's described as event registration from campaign funds. In 2008, federal documents also show Bill Arrakis paid the Jesters twice from his campaign fund, once for $25 and again for more than $780. In each case, the purpose was listed as membership dues. Senior counsel Paul Ryan with the nonprofit Nonpartisan Campaign Legal Center has worked in campaign finance law for more than a decade. The dividing line is if it's for recreational purposes, it's personal use, it's off limits. If it is for professional purposes and is political in nature, the organization and the membership dues, then it's allowable. So what is the Royal Order of Jesters? Internet journalist Sandy Frost has been investigating this offshoot group of the Shriners for nearly five years. The gestures are generally made up of judges, people in law enforcement, uh, sheriffs, and people in positions of power. According to an Indiana court document, there are 191 groups or courts in North America with nearly 21,000 members. Federal tax documents show 12 jester courts in Florida, second only to Texas for the highest number in any state. Over the last several years, there have been major issues with jester groups around the country, but none of them have been tied to Congressman Bill Arrakis. A former tour operator is facing a lawsuit and criminal investigations in both the U.S. and Brazil. He's accused of soliciting underage prostitutes on fishing trips to Brazil, but denies the charges. In a prior suit, he was accused of taking 19 jesters on one of those trips. Also, three jesters were caught in a human trafficking sting for taking an undocumented illegal alien to be a sex slave at a jester party in Kentucky. Those jesters include a former New York State Supreme Court judge, his law clerk, and a retired police captain. While only a handful of jesters have been successfully prosecuted, in one of those cases, the FBI stated the jesters nationally have the motto, Mirth is King and engage in social gatherings known as books of play. The sworn federal complaint says, quote, a typical feature of a book of play is the presence of prostitutes who engage in commercial sex acts with members. Extremely serious stuff, and for congressmen to be involved with this group. We spoke with an officer of the Tampa Jester's Court who tells us he has no knowledge of members in his group engaging with prostitutes. On the issue of Congressman Bill Arrakis' use of campaign funds for the Jester's, Ryan believes it's open to question under campaign finance law. This is an issue that the Federal Election Commission, were a complaint to be filed against the congressman, would probably take a pretty close look at. You don't really have an opinion one way or another as to whether this might be legal or not, correct? This strikes me as a pretty close call. Ryan says in instances like this one, the best path is for a candidate to ask the FEC for an advisory opinion. An example, federal records show then-Congressman Mike Bilirakis, Gus's father, asked the FEC in 1999 for an opinion about using campaign funds for an event known as the Kids First Family Fair. The event was co-hosted with Gus, who was then a state representative. However, FEC records show now Congressman Gus Bilirakis has never asked the Federal Elections Commission for an advisory opinion, including about his jester expenses. Generally, I think that elected officials are wise to steer clear of the type of controversy that results when you would use campaign funds to associate yourself with a group like this one, the Royal Order of Jesters. Again, we want to point out Congressman Bill Arrakis has no ties to the out-of-state jester activities we discussed. We first contacted his Washington office last Tuesday morning, a week ago. We also sent an email to the congressman's campaign manager requesting an explanation of the jester expenses. To date, despite multiple follow-ups, including today, We've heard no comment from the Bill Arrakis campaign or his office.